Uh, my name's Neil Rankin. I'm the head chef at John Salt in Islington. John Salt is a neighborhood bar, restaurant. Um, operates as a bar uh, seven days a week, as a restaurant six days a week. Um, it's a 60 cover restaurant uh, serving primarily um, barbecue food. Uh, we have six chefs in the team at John Salt at the moment. Um, primarily barbecue cooking, not traditional American barbecue cooking. We cook eclectic barbecue food here. Um, from very French classical to Korean food to um, Malaysian food. Um, anything really that comes, it's all about cooking with fire and coal rather than a specific genre. Oh, my goals for this place is just to, to, for it to keep being a bar, a busy bar and to serve great food. I mean, we're not looking for stars, we're not looking for any accolades here. It's just about really creating a good vibe and a nice space to eat in. For us, I think we're pretty much on our own for what we're doing here. There's a couple of other places, Pig and Butcher, a couple of other pubs around here that are doing good food. But for our genre, for what we're doing, um, we're pretty much on our own here. Um, and I think that, that we are getting um, neighbourhood people coming in the doors. We're also getting people coming from quite far afield. The first dish we're going to show you today is Cornish cod foie gras and blood orange. We buy our cod from direct from Newlands Market through Stevenson's in Newland and Cornwall. It gets brought up three times a week, um, really ultra fresh. We then butcher and fillet it on site, salt it for 24 hours in a, a salami based cure, which is a lot of fennel, juniper, bay in there. Um, and also we, we add a lot of citrus to it. Um, once it's firmed up, we divide it into small portions and then that gets barbecued at a really high temperature. A nice crispy skin on there. And um, that gets served alongside a foie gras sauce, which is unashamedly mostly foie gras. It's the um, same amounts of foie gras to cream. We get the foie gras in the pan, roast it off, um, nice and seared to get that sort of Maillard reactions, all those caramelized flavors in there. And then we bring it down with a little bit of brandy and some cream. Um, and that gets served alongside a uh, burnt butter sauce, which is made of burnt butter and some blood orange juice poured in there at the end, and a little bit of seasoning. And then we add uh, some tempura blood orange to that. The main course I'm going to cook for you today is a uh, ribeye for two. We've sourced our beef from Warren's Butchers in Cornwall, one of the best butchers in the country as far as I'm concerned. It's rare breed beef, it's nicely aged, not overly aged. I'll take my ribeye, uh, 600 grams, which I think is perfect, and I'll throw it directly onto some hot charcoal um, without a grill. The throwing it on might seem a little bit rash, but it enables to develop a sort of smoky flavour that you can't get from normal grilling, and you want to do that nice and early on. So then, we're going we're gonna to take it out of the coals, we're going to brush down the coals, take all the hot coals off, and then I'm going to beat it up with the pan. Flatten it out nice, widen the surface area, enabling it to get more flavour onto the steak and get an even cook. And then I'm going to hack it up with a knife as well. It, again, you're increasing surface area, you're increasing flavour that I'm going to add to the to steak. Um, a little bit like uh, roast potatoes when you rough them up after boiling them. Um, same, same theory. It's then going to go back onto a hot grill in a green egg and it's going to be cooked nice and evenly, um, keeping on turning it until it's got a nice char, even char. And then it's going to go onto a high level or a batter grill when it's going to cook nice and even out. We're going to serve this with a kimchi hollandaise, which is a very basic hollandaise to which we've added, we make our own in-house kimchi in here. So we have a leftover paste and the paste goes through the hollandaise, nice and simple. And that gets served for two people. Uh, the dessert I'm going to show you today is an old-fashioned trifle. Old-fashioned also that it's made with old-fashioned syrup, uh, bourbon and orange bitters. Start with a layer of sponge, which we make in-house, and then cover it in old-fashioned syrup, make it look very boozy. Then we've got a layer of uh, uh, rhubarb, nice and seasonal, poached, poached overnight. And then we've got a layer of bourbon chantilly cream, We've got a layer of burnt butter custard. We've got another layer of 
bourbon chantilly cream. And then we top it with some toasted marshmallows and some hundreds and thousands. We don't make our own hundreds and thousands, that's it.